Yo, what up? This is Re here. We have my vlog back again with another video. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate all of you. Let's get into this. So this one's a little different. This is just like me noticing things. Okay, so there was like a tennis match and this article's from June 3rd, 2022. And I don't know if you guys heard about this, but at the 2022 French Open men's semifinal, there was, it was interrupted by a protester and she was wearing a t-shirt that said, we have 1,028 days left. And she tied herself to the net and they said that she was a protester about climate change, a climate activist group. So I thought it was kind of weird. The whole climate change, that's a whole other thing. The earth heats up and it cools down, people. It's periods. That's periods that you go into. And they use this so that they can make money. So the astrologer in me was like, well, what happens that day? So I had to count how many days. Well, that comes to March 27, 2025, right? So if you think about it, that's not that long off. And I was like, well, what's different about that day, right? So let's look at the chart. So what i noticed right away and we're using vedic astrology so what i noticed right away is in pisces we have look we have sun mercury neptune venus north node and we have saturn almost going in there i think in two days saturn goes into pisces as well so that's one two three four five almost six planets that's a very rare event that you have that many planets in at one time whoever's born like any child that's born at that time is going to be super intuitive very intuitive if that has to do with climate then it could have to do with they foresee a flood um pisces is water so it could be a flood of some kind that's the biggest thing when you have so many planets there's so much energy in the water the other thing i noticed is you have uranus at zero degrees in taurus and you have jupiter now there's a lot of vedic astrologers that were predicting that there could be some kind of earthquake at that time because having uranus in taurus taurus is an earth sign and at zero degrees is very powerful and especially in that nakshatra and also you have jupiter there expanding on anything so jupiter will is a planet of abundance and expansion so it's going to expand anything that's in there so it could make a uh, earthquake that's in there because there's always earthquakes that happen especially in taurus and with plants in taurus that happen especially uranus because uranus is unexpected events so it could be unexpected well it seems to be expected like some people are expecting it if this is a climate change this could be a stunt or whatever right but i just think it's very interesting that they chose this day so it's kind of like a decode but it could be yeah it could be expanding on that as well and especially having the north node in pisces like the the north node there can act like uranus as well um so it's like could it be a mud flood <laughs> could you know that's one thing i was thinking about too and i'm not trying to spread free i'm just this is just me speculating or whatever because this protester could have been a paid protester you know this could have been a publicity stunt that which happens a lot of times just to get people curious but it's like how did they know to pick this day it's kind of weird could it be a mud flood there was mud floods that happened at the late 1800s because that's where we lost all of our information and uh, they say that there was a mud flood before if you look at a lot of buildings you can realize that there was something that happened and we did lose all our technology and this has happened before as well they say maybe like 300 years before and that this continues happening and it's like a, a reset so could there be a, a mud flood because you have a lot of water and you have a lot of um earth there as well so that's what i was kind of thinking about as well i wish i knew the exact time <laughs> i was like give me the time but i don't need the time to see it but that is really weird that there's so many planets in pisces and then you have the moon in aquarius that day it kind of made me think like who knows like how did they know and what are they saying but yeah that's just what i found i thought is interesting i always look at astrology charts for everything so anyways i love y'all and be out my phone i easy